There we go. That is the one. Just open that image. This one right here. The very first one. Yes. It's a bit blurry, but there are better. Oh, there we go. Is one it coming in now? Customers. Can anyone catch the cell phone king? And that was the the month or definitely the year when iPhone came out and then was like like dismissed by Nokia as uh, as silly. And uh, yeah, like three years later, there was no Nokia. Wow. Yeah, that's, so that's uh... this is this is I think very important, and this is but this I think this is a, one of the lessons that can never be learned. Yeah. Uh, because uh, if you if you are a billion dollar company, you won't be able to reorganize yourself. You're absolutely right. I love that perspective, and that really brings me into this next highly controversial topic that I was hoping to get your feedback on. Sure. The 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 fast pace um, artificial intelligence advancements. I mean, the mm -hmm. AI right now to me. It seems like every day something new is coming out and we followed yep. dolly and mid journey on the art side and then yep. chat gpt and and now google's got barred what, yep. what are your thoughts on on the crazy advancements we're seeing now i i think it's very difficult to see what uh, where it is it is it is going to go i think it's in at least in some ways it's equal equal parts exciting and scary at the same time uh, it was very interesting because I had a conversation about it uh, with an expert that has much more uh, exposure and experience with it, uh, my my 13 years old son. Um, and um, what he say what he said is that in his opinion, what we call um, AI uh, like a, like a text based AI is basically just a just um, a glorified uh, algorithm picking up styles from a large uh, set of uh, of data and uh, has nothing to do with uh, actual intelligence but it gets so close that it sometimes it's you can't actually uh, uh, tell the difference and uh, he could actually be right because, uh, but on the other hand, what I also know that one of the uh, one of the earlier couple of years ago happened uh, when Google created, uh, I think it was uh, uh, Deep Blue or how do no how do they call this? Uh, Google had uh, an AI that was taught to to play different games like chess, like Go, you know, this uh, this very complex uh, uh, Japanese, Korean, uh, Chinese game with 19th time 19th uh, grid with black and white stones, which was thought to be unconquerable by AI, even like a couple of years before that. And then they, they, they created this AI with this reinforcement learning and then it started to pay at the play at the level that it beat the the most the the number one player in the world so basically go was done for in terms of uh, whether it can be uh, conquered or not it was very obviously it could be and uh, even if it's just a large amount of computation power uh, uh, learning uh, things even then it came up with sequences of moves that the that the best human player was completely helpless against and he the guy i don't remember his name it's he was he's a very cocky guy he's a very boasting guy and he he did say after he played with the with the ai that he felt that he was playing against god which is which is a very humiliating, humbling um, uh, response from somebody playing against um, a computer. Um, so even if it's just a large amount of reinforced learning, we might actually be cracking something that even us we don't understand yet. 
And so, yeah, it is exciting and scary at the same time. I remember that it was uh, it was the Google Deep off, Mind. Off, off, off ago. It was yes. Off ago. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yep. And yeah, there's so many. Uh, Watson had IBM, and then some. Yep. Was it yep. Microsoft with Deep Blue? And yeah, there's a lot of these different. Yep. Uh, in that race to develop it. Yep. So that's the other funny thing is how early that is too. Like a, a lot, very similar to where we are with with blockchain, still in its infancy. Um, yeah. uh, so where do you I, think it's I headed think, next? Uh, it's a very good question. And uh, I'm going to say something very admittedly silly now, even, even by my own standards. Uh, that if you... I'm not even sure if I talk about it, but anyway, if you if you ever read like old stories mm. of um, of like e or religious texts about like uh, homunculus and golem and things like that, basically artificial life created and then forbidden to be experimented with. <laughs> In many ways, in some ways, it reminded me uh, to AI. The 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 why why it is uh, why it is reminded me because I can definitely believe that it is possible to create uh, a, a program that that is intelligent, but I don't think it is possible to create a program. At least I can't see it yet that it actually has a a conscience uh, and I think intelligence without conscience could be extremely scary then we are talking about technically like you know a like sociopath. A, <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 exactly yeah, sociopaths. And, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. do we want to codify that sociopaths run our lives because AI are already making these kind of decisions how much you can get out how much you can top up your, I don't know, uh, bank account, how much you can withdraw, whether that was very scary that I learned that apparently it's also AI models deciding whether a certain uh, inmate should be released early or not from, uh, from jail and it's AI. And, um, I don't know. It could actually be very scary. And don't I'm not thinking or talking about any kind of, you know, conspiracy theories that AI wants to destroy the life and whatnot. We are not talking about that. No Skynet it's, here. Not just well, in in not not really, but what what I mean is that if these decisions are really made in a way that are not fully understood by that by us why these decisions were uh, were made then this this is this is something that makes things uh, scary i had a very low-key incident with that i create i got this new uh, credit card you know this debit card not credit card so this you can get it online you you top up with money and you can spend the money that you top up very simple i don't want to say the name obviously we all know these kind of things and so i spent i sent a small amount of a medium amount of money to it and it refused and i called the customer service said so why he said apparently it was too much so okay so what are the rules what is too much what is what is the limit and he said we don't know it's the system tells us so they don't know why a, a certain transaction is refused, rejected, or why it is going through. It's basically that's what they that's what the system tells them, and they have no no recourse, no follow up, no nothing. That is what it is. And uh, yeah. wow, I wonder what those so those would basically be AI prediction models that they're probably like a string of algorithms with a deep learning yeah something app, right? yeah, yeah of course of course yeah. but come on it's That's like crazy yeah. yeah yeah and and this is 
and basically in this way you you have no you have no recourse you there is nobody to appeal to because there is nobody you're right and so okay so this brings up something and maybe this is where the kids come in because i i was thinking about this you know our you know my kids are also in the, in their teenage years trying to get through school and you know they're coming up now during an age where you have alexa everywhere you know um, every kind of ai that you can imagine access now with chat gpt and, and the bard yeah you know so now are they gonna are they gonna look at these ais like they're the authority on the subject right mm -hmm. you know and it's it's increasingly difficult for me as a parent to to be an mm -hmm. authority on anything because they know they can go to the internet and disprove me at any time yeah yeah i don't know i hmm. i have two kids um uh, they 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 are very much living their lives online a lot but yeah. when it comes to technology they approach it very differently as well mm, one of them good. is on their phone uh but the other one actually refuses to take their phone with them when we when we walk mm, that's good he he doesn't like it he he's got everything that you could have like ipads computers mm. all kinds of things but he 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 so it's i don't know i don't know why and i don't know what is the right approach i think but it so going to this this specific incident it could be and i thought about this because i i went believe it or not i went two glorious years without a cell phone it was a yeah. most wonderful time of my life you you don't realize that you're when when you carry the technology it's a burden right so yeah. anyone can reach you anytime you never yeah. really unplug it's yeah. tough i mean we talk about a lot in the space it definitely yeah. can be uh, mental fatigue if you can't unplug and the yep. kids are like that now they're constantly exposed to this so i think yep. it's amazing that he's actually taking control of his own freedom and saying okay i'm not yeah. free unless i don't have this with me and that's that's a good thing on us that's really For, good. yeah I, I know i'm i'm constantly battling with that i ended up with uh, with having a cell phone with basically three applications mm. and that's what i that's what i carry around mm. uh, it has an email client personal email it has a, a open street map which is basically a, something like google maps without google mm. wow. and uh, and i have a, a chat program with uh, with only five users which is my mother my brother my wife and the kids and nobody else knows that at all so that's, that's all awesome. that is on my, that's all that is on my phone so if it's really important they can reach me uh, but uh, i it was a long journey of removing twitter removing discord removing everything and then another journey when i started to actually block sites where i noticed that i i i uh, uh, scroll so when I, I noticed that there are sites that i actually scroll like like uh, i did it on on imager uh imgur how do you i don't i don't know how you spell oh okay yeah I, i've heard of that okay so that's a yeah. scrolling thing with the constant yeah, 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 dopamine yeah. Like ah, okay so i i blocked it because uh because i don't want it and uh and basically that's about it that's about it i i'm trying to reduce the cell phone into into a device of communication again uh, and not submit to it. It's not easy. That's that's really amazing. And this is something that I don't think we give enough attention to. And I fight this battle all the time in my house because I'm like, absolutely no TikTok, none of this. It's because they're, yeah. they're designed where these um, these AI or the algorithms, whatever you want to call it, are, are picking up on the cues yeah. of what they yeah. select. So then yep. it's a constant dopamine stream, you know, yep. like they, they've yep. got it. And they, yep. these programs know our kids better than we do. And at the same time, they, they funnel the content to them that causes them to be more engaged. It's like a, um, yep. it's, it's a terrible cycle to watch. And I, I, I myself put quite a bit of effort to break this, uh, break this cycle. And, uh, 
I, I fairly like, uh, but it's I kind of went into into silly lengths, like uh, removing the cameras from my cell phone, uh, and actually buying a bloody uh, camera because I wanted to separate yes. the functionality mm -hmm. uh, from that. I don't know. I sometimes I don't know whether I'm going too far or not. It's just. What I'm doing is experimenting and see whether it makes sense to uh, to separate the functionality to different devices, because the combination can unlock things that that we cannot control anymore. But again, I could be uh, I could be completely wrong in this one. This is just an experimental thing. No, I mean it sounds to me like you're taking back your freedom and control for your your own self sovereignty, which is kind of why we got into this. You know, to me that's that's brilliant, and and it could be that eventually we have AI assistants that manage that for us. Who knows? I'm so I'm not say. actually against that, but I need then I will need to make sure that that AI assistance it leaves in the device. Mm and not uh, in a else. server somewhere. True. So that's something that has to be an entity that is under my control mm. and not uh, live somewhere else in a, in a server. In that case, I might actually consider it. Wow. I did, I'm, I'm definitely going to give a lot more thought to this conversation on Rash. Thank you. That's, <laughs> this is this is an area where I need to make some personal improvements on, too. Um, mm -hmm. and I know we could talk about it forever, but there's one last thing that I wanted to get to while we still have time. Sure. And this um, it kind of goes along the lines of advancing and how things move forward. Where where do you think um, the the majority of the developer interest is going right now do you think it's going towards ai and that kind of technology or do you think enough of it's going into to blockchain tech or wh where are your thoughts on that <laughs> i i in some ways i hope that it's going to go towards ai because in this way we could actually finally uh, end the hype cycle of blockchain and enter the new kid <laughs> AI, <laughs> and and then now we finally we can just get done to business. So in that in that way in that sense I do hope that uh, most of the attention will be grabbed by AI. We need that in order to turn blockchain into an actual useful technology and useful business. Do you think specifically, like when when you're talking with the dev team, are they experimenting at all? I, I I would imagine they probably at least are aware of it and maybe check to see how it performs versus stuff that they do, or is that not even into something that they worry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About? I, I I know that many people uh, did it uh, or, or tried it and were amazed. I don't know whether it's going to kind of keep uh, happening or not. It's very early to say whether it's going to be like a a real thing or, or or a fed which is going to kind of taper away uh, the same way that uh, at least in most of the ai generated uh, images are not up to the standard of uh, of the experts uh, creations or or cannot be there without the, the touch of the experts I assume it's going to be the same with the code, but I could be completely wrong. And maybe in a couple of years, we don't actually need developers. It's uh, it's it's really early to tell, but I I, I would not uh, rule that out. Yeah, I, I, that's that is an interesting thing. You don't really know because once once AI becomes really advanced at what it's doing, then then yeah, it seems like that would be possible but then again you know there still isn't that human touch and that human connection right it's it's going to be imagine that if you can actually explain the product features to uh, uh to an ai and then it will write the software for you i think it's absolutely possible that it we might actually get to a stage with that but it means anybody can write their own word processor, their own operating system, their own everything. So 
that will not make things easier in the in the context of uh, of uh, of doing business it's going to be the same difficulty but the difficulty is going to be in a different level i think mm. yeah yeah i could definitely see that but then again there's also the the knowing versus the understanding and you know and the experience and everything else so and and then you know from a from a really uh, strange standpoint this whole concept of the ghost in the code right or the ghost mm -hmm. in the machine and the ghost I, in the show. yeah yeah oh we need to do one on just anime yes that okay yeah Absolutely. May, maybe next time we can do yeah. like your top 10 that sure. would be that would be really cool and i'll use that for education for my kids too <laughs> well well, I, I, I would enjoy that for sure. Yeah, I, I think to me, I have a lot more fun in the conversations where we're talking about things that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes some of the topics that we that we discuss maybe aren't necessarily the most uh, interesting to us, but it's what everybody else is interested about. Mm -hmm. you know? um, like, I, I don't really spend a lot of time on um, market uh, cycles or the psychology of meme coins, but it's everywhere, right? Yeah. And, and the AI, you know, we had a, a Twitter space um, about a month ago when when it first started getting really popular. Yeah. And we had we had nine thousand people listening in. Yep. And that's that's crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. No, yeah. I mean, okay. I'm really yeah. really. We'll thank AI if they can take the hype from us, hype from blockchain, and let us do business finally. And uh, from that point of view, I, uh, from point of view, I'm really, really welcoming our AI overlords. Uh, <laughs> so I think with that, let's let's close for uh, uh, for now. Sure. And then yeah, I'm looking forward to the next time, and we can we can we can talk anime. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a lot of research too. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Andras. Always a pleasure. Looking forward to the next time.